Starting from scratch. Property of Peggy Bag and Gee. Can you come and get me too, please? These are, I guess, just an album of drawings. And you can see, these aren't very good. These are just, like, sketches. of cats, and each one, you know, these are, I don't know, so old, I gotta read this stuff. Rita, get off! That's pretty cool. These drawings of cats that, whoa, that she knew. This one's, I remember this from when we were little, called Allure. I remember that artwork in the house. This one's called the cockroach. Each one is named. Very refined. I'm trying to reach over the floor. Self-supporting. Very original green tag. This one's very cool, isn't it? Bishman! <laughs> A good scrub, freshen up the puss cat, it's kind of cool. These were some early works that but you can kind of get to see her style, oh I love this, this one's so cool. Somewhere on the east coast, you can see the fragments of the paper, it's so fragile from the brown edges, going fishing. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. This is the parrot. More kittens. The glamour girl. These are really not good of hers, I gotta say. But, um, suffice to say, you can understand where the alley cat part of Lisbeth came into being. Let's see, the spirit of fun, which means that's a mess. Kittens playing. Don Powell's Perkins and Calhoun, those are Don Powell's cats, I guess. Anyway, and um, starting from scratch, stationed somewhere in the off offing of my earliest infant recollection, there broods a huge white cat. Larger than life, he crouches larger by far than a present-day cat and with such awesome attributes as might pertain to Mars or Malak. His ears are ragged, proclaiming the warrior. His nose is chipped and battered. A savage tusk protrudes from one side of his snarling muzzle. He has the shoulders of a lion, the claws of an eagle. Okay, me too. Ugh, oh, one of me. So anyways, I haven't even read this, but okay, bye.